So I happened to come across a uh, video about Rush, and uh, there was a small little clip, uh, and it was Getty Lee going into his home studio. And I and, and it was only like eight seconds, this clip, but I captured the clip, and I'm, make, I'm slowing it down so you guys can see this. You know, and the one thing that's fascinating to me is, uh, and I, I've dealt with a lot of celebrities, a lot of rock stars and that, and a lot of them, as soon as they get money, they build these, you know, Taj Mahals of, of recording suit, big, huge, expensive, the best of the best gear. And I'm looking at Getty Lee and his studio looks like, well, he looks like he walked downstairs, has his brown plaid wallpaper. He has guitars well, bases all hanging up all the way around him, you know, and the, the gear I'm looking at, like he has blue sky speakers, which horrible, horrible speakers. And then he has some small care caves, which are not a, not that much better, but it's, it's a kind of a writing room. And, and I'm looking at, he has a Presona switcher for speakers and a universal audio uh, twin. Uh, so it, it's always fascinating to me to see all the, the things that the big rock stars would have in their, in their room. And, his room, it was more, uh, I think it's more of a writing room because when Rush, when they record, they, they get the best of the best studios to work out of. Um, but if you look at this and you just slow it down and, and look at all the gear all over the place, it's, it's just a, a little basement room and that's, that's his studio. I mean, it's like, um, Carter Beaufort's house. He, he lives in a 200,000, a 20,000, uh, square foot house and, as a flight simulator in a bowling alley. And and for being the drummer for the Dave Matthews Band, you would think he have this big, huge studio. But his studio is actually small compared to the rest of the house. It's nice. And, and I have a video coming up showing you some pictures of it. But it's nowhere near the size of the other. But the other thing I have to say, less than a mile away is Haunted Hollow, which is the Dave Matthews uh, Band's uh, recording studio. So you can go there. But with, with uh, Rush, I just thought, this is kind of crazy. Uh, this guy has this tiny little room that he does work out of, but, you know, the product they come out with is fantastic. Um, but I thought this was, this was interesting. So I just slowed it down and I grabbed a bunch of pictures that I found of his home studio. And I guess he really likes that brown plaid wallpaper because, uh, you know, with his money, he could, you know, have that all redecorated if he wanted to or make it acoustically sounder. But it just seems like it's a base re basement room. And you can see there's a window on the side and he has uh, all his bases hanging around and uh, some some very basic gear. I mean, the microphone's the only thing I see that there's some money right there. Uh, looks like a, a, an M149 or a 49 or one of those old Neumann microphones. So check out the video, see what you guys think. He may now live a rock star's life with some of his 350 bass guitars lining his home studio. I'm not looking for any more. So he says, 